It's a sad night because this is my last night in New York City. I'm sad because I don't want to leave. I want to stay, but I got to go home. And this has been an absolutely life-changing trip for me. Absolutely life-changing. I'm so glad I did this. And I get it. I get the hype now. I get why people say this is the greatest city on earth. And I have to agree with that. I haven't been to every city on earth, but it is by far the best city I've ever been to. I'm no stranger when it comes to big cities. I'm from Istanbul, the biggest city in Europe. I've spent 11 years in Toronto, the biggest city in Canada. There is no city like New York. The energy here is absolutely unmatched on every level. Everywhere you go, there's something going on at all times. Of course, right now we're in the busiest area, Times Square, which very rarely New Yorkers actually come here. But it's like this in every part of the city because this city never sleeps. From day one, I felt like I was right at home. It just felt normal, like the smell of the subway, that grimy, stinky, concrete smell just felt normal to me. The chaos, the energy, the honking of cars, the yelling of civilians, everything about it for some reason just resonates with me and I want more of it. And the more of it I get, the more of it I keep wanting. I'm calling it right now. I am gonna live here one day. I don't know if it's gonna be a year from now or 10 years from now, maybe longer, but one day I'm gonna live here. I'm gonna spend three to four, maybe $5,000 a month on rent with, with cockroaches and rats. And I'm gonna love it because that's how dope this city is. It's worth it, it's worth that. Speaking of prices, yes, this city is incredibly expensive. Ridiculous how expensive it is, but guess what? It's worth it. The only city I've been to, in my experience, I can say, where it truly is worth paying a lot more to live just to exist here. Because it's just awesome. And other New Yorkers and other YouTubers here I've spoken to, they've all said the same thing. They know it's so expensive to live here. They know that they can live for cheaper in other cities, but they don't want to. They'd rather live here because there is no place like New York. There's no place like this. Prior to me coming here, all I heard about this city was bad things. I heard about how there are rats everywhere. Excuse me. As I was saying, I heard about how there are rats everywhere. The traffic is never ending. The subway system sucks. It's expensive to live here. The people here are horrible. I've heard it all. That's all I heard about this city. And well, I can tell you that is a complete load of horseshit. This city is amazing, filled with amazing people. I think the people of the city are the best part about it. New Yorkers. <laughs> well, uh, pure chaos. Look at this big boy. As I was saying, I think New Yorkers are the best part about this city. There's just something about them. They come here because they want to be here. They don't come here because they have nowhere else to go. They, they fought to be here and they're fighting to be here still because this is a very competitive city. If you don't fight to be here, somebody else will replace you. There's a very high turnover rate and everyone who comes here has a super interesting story. All the people I've met here, all the amazing New Yorkers, the amazing tourists, they have so many things to say. And I just could not hear enough about them. I just wanted to learn more and more about them. So, being among their energy, their ambition, their drive is purely inspiring. Nothing else, it makes me wanna do better. It makes me wanna be better. And I love that. New Yorkers on the outside are very tough. They're very hard. They have a defensive and protective shell. 
that protects them from all the bullshit happening around them. But once you talk to them a little bit, you discover they're some of the most amazing individuals on the planet. They have some of the most interesting stories to tell. And I can't wait to come back here and hear more of them, hopefully before this year is over. On another note, public transportation. I want to talk about this because I think the public transportation here is amazing. I seriously think that and I believe that. First off, the subway, it can literally take you anywhere you want in the city. You want to go from A to B? No problem. You'll be there in less than an hour. No, if you want to go from Manhattan to Brooklyn, no problem. It'll take you probably 20 minutes to get there. It's all good. Oh, now they have bike lanes everywhere. Coming from a city like Toronto, where transportation was so horrendously bad, it is so welcoming to see a place that you can actually get from A to B without it taking you three hours. Sure, if you drive, you're probably gonna hate your life, but that's why you probably shouldn't drive if you're here. And the food is absolutely undefeated. Did I mention this is a Monday evening? A Monday. Look how much the energy is around me. Look how big the crowds are on a Monday evening. <laughs> I love it. I love the chaos. I love the hectic. I'm telling you, I'm going to live here one day. I don't know if it'll be this year, if it'll be in 2030, 2040. I'm going to make it happen. Just watch. Over the last nine days, I must have gotten anywhere from 250 to 300 gigs. There you go. <laughs> As I was saying, the last nine days, I must have gotten 250 to 300 gigs of footage of this city just because there is so much to film and so much to see. And I haven't even scratched the surface yet. I've only been to two boroughs. I was in Manhattan and Queens. I'm going to come to Brooklyn next time. I just didn't have time to go this time. That's just how massive this place is. And there is so much to see and so much to do. Every corner you turn, there is something else going on, a different story being told. This has also been a good lesson for me not to believe everything I hear in the media, even on social media, just because it's not always true. People love to talk about what benefits them even though it's not true. They might just hate on the city and say negative things because it's gonna get them clicks. And now that I know that, I'm gonna come back here, hopefully in a few more months, with a better plan, a better game plan. I'm gonna now know where to go. I'm gonna know who to go with. And I'm gonna know where not to go and what not to do. And I'm gonna know what foods to eat. I'm gonna know what streets to walk on. And that's another adventure all in itself. So for this time, c'est la vie, New York. I'm sad that I'm leaving, but I'm going back to Montreal. So it's not all that bad. I'm gonna miss this air. There's a special smell to the New York air that I'm really, really gonna miss. And just like the rest of the city, you can't find that anywhere else.